we are here today. We are going to do some gratitude painting. So um, let me just get everything all set up. I, you will see my supplies are not, they're the same thing we've been using all week with watercolor paper. We're gonna use pencil and a Sharpie and then some um, watercolors. However, don't let supplies be a hindrance. If you don't have watercolor paper, no big deal. Grab just plain old copy paper. You can still do this exercise just with crayons or with um, colored pencils. You can do this with anything, okay? So the point is not to have the exact same uh, supplies that I do. The point is to just kind of create art and to slow down and to be, um, just to have gratitude because we see that, um, you know, our verse that we were looking at today that we posted earlier, when I'm trying to pull it up, Philippians 4, 6. I'm not seeing it. So I, I was going to read it off straight. But basically it says, you know, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything with thanksgiving, present your request to God. So yes, we are asking so much of God for protection and for wisdom and um, so much. But also let's don't skip the part that says with thanksgiving, bring these requests to him. So we are going to be thankful today. We are going to create some awesome art and we are going to list the things um, that we are just thankful for today because that is just healthy for you um, just to focus on those things. So here we go. I'm grabbing my pencil, okay? I'm going to do a big kind of our cloud type thing. All right, so here we go. Big old cloud. So just kind of almost like a thought bubble. And we want this to be big because inside of here is where we are going to be uh, writing. Then you are going to do another one. Now this time it's going to start here and then it's going to end in all of these little, the creases. That's where it's going to end. So it's going to look like this here and it goes in there. Okay. So it's not the same thickness all the way around. That was a little bit off, but no biggie. All right. So we're gonna get that on there. Then we are going to do like rays coming out. This is a design, I've done the same thing in a lot of different um, formats. So, uh, so you may have seen this before. So let's see, Kara just says, how do I order neon watercolors? We are getting some packages together for you as we speak. We only have a few neon watercolors left. So we are putting them together in a kids pack and there'll be a limited edition we will get more after our suppliers are allowed to go to work <laughs> right now all of our suppliers are in california and they cannot get us anymore until late april but we will be posting that link soon so what i'm doing now if you see me coming from the center and going out i just use this as a guiding point i always start this imaginary dot in the center and then come out see it's like an imaginary dot and then come out and the way the reason I do that is because if not it would be really easy to get all of these lines going the same way all right I see somebody said that you cannot see I will go over this with a sharpie in just a second so if you're having trouble seeing the sharpie is coming next that will help you a lot all right so this is our first step <clears throat> then we're gonna take our sharpie actually let me do something else before we do this because we might have to add another another line every other line we're gonna make a double line okay so this one's a line we're gonna do a double line skip this one is gonna be a double skip double skip double skip that one double skip that one double now this just so turned out that it worked perfectly the reason i went ahead and did that though is sometimes it does not work out perfectly let's say that i did this one a double and that one was a double then i would just throw in a single line right there okay just kind of fix it as i go all right so once you do that then you're going to get your sharpie it needs to be a permanent marker of some sort and create and just do go all around the edges and this is just one example of a, um, a fun border. You really can do all kinds of different borders. I'm going to try to scroll and see if I can see. Can we use, Jennifer says, can we use gel pens to write? Yes, this is just going to be watercolor um, that we do in the background. So you can use just about any color pen on top of it. Or any type of pen, just after it dries. 
Okay, so we've just kind of outlined that. Let's see. Yay, Kara, I'm so glad. Kara says that her daughter has fallen in love with our videos and looks forward to it every day. I, that makes me happy. We look forward to doing them every day. And I love, I love seeing everybody, what they post. It's just a fun way to stay connected during this time and to still see lots of cute kiddos creating fun art. Okay, so just simple little outlining there. Now we'll come back around with our double lines. And again, I'm on watercolor paper. Um, if you're using regular paper, which you totally can, just use a different, um, a different medium to add the color in. Don't necessarily uh, use watercolor. But if you are using watercolor, you can be on this watercolor paper. All right, so let's see. Now we're gonna go around, and remember in the cupcake when we added the little curly cues? Right inside here, we are just gonna do these little curly cues. Okay, and this is just one option. You might decide that you want to do um, something else. You might wanna do zigzags, or you may wanna do stripes, or you might wanna do checkers. You can do whatever you want inside of here. We're really just creating, creating a fun border. And then we're gonna use this inside part to, um, to write. Okay, next up, just to add one more layer of a little something something, we are going to do some polka dots just like right next to these straight lines. It feels so good out here. I'm not sure what all y'all can hear in the background. <laughs> There's a lot going on in the background though. <laughs> we are, I'm outside and it feels so good um, creating outside, but we got a workout class going on in the back and my brother's leading up there, I hear. We got walking on gravel and everything else. So y'all just getting, getting little pieces of Little pieces of the beach. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. That is what we got there. Now we are gonna go ahead and do our lettering. So what we're putting inside here is going to be our gratitude. You know, we are saying we want to focus on what we are thankful for. What you focus on grows. You can focus on all the, man, I didn't get to go to my baseball tournament. I didn't get to go to my gymnastics. I mean, you, know, you can focus on all the blah, 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 blah. I don't get to see my friends. There's a lot you can focus on there. And then it seems like it gets worse and worse and worse when you focus on it. But when you focus on the good things, then you start noticing them more. So what we're going to do is we're going to put yay for, and that's just kind of, you don't, if you don't speak in that terminology, <laughs> you can put I am thankful for I just I say yay a lot so I like to say yay for so <clears throat> just to, um we have a lettering club for um for adults and we we have a kids lettering box that we do every once in a while too so I'm going to just show you a little bit of, ki of lettering fun for adults or kids so you can just do your fun little letters with extra curves you can do the A kind of like this, a little bit different than maybe what you normally write. We're going to curve it around again for the yay. And then on the ends, we are going to add these little serifs. Okay, so yay. And now we're going to fit four in there. F. Now for the O, I'm going to kind of do a swirly all in there. And then for the R, I'll kind of curve it in. All right, and then again, we can put those serifs on. And then we're gonna do dot, 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 because we are about to start listing a lot. So we did the dot, dot, dot. <clears throat> Next up, if you want to, now this part is a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> so you can, if you wanna do this, you can, or you don't have to. On these down strokes, you're gonna kind of thicken those down strokes just a little bit. This might be something that if you're young, you might want your parents to do, or if you're a little bit older, you can do this. It's, it's, if, you're, uh, if you're like a first or second grader, this part might be a little bit hard. All right, so yay four, and then we are doing, we're just gonna start making some bullet points, okay? You can do three or five or, you know, or you can just leave it blank. If you don't wanna do bullet points, you can just write anything you want to. Um, <clears throat> I see a lot of, several people asking, can we use anything to write with? If you mean for the outline, the answer is, mm, 
it depends. <laughs> if you're putting watercolor on top of it, it needs to be Sharpie. Because if it's a washable marker, the water is going to move it. If you're doing this with crayons or colored pencils, you can use whatever you want. The only time you really need to be careful is if you're about to add watercolor on top of it, you need it to be something that's not going to smear everywhere. Okay. All right. So once we've got this done, we are going to actually do the watercolor first before we start lettering because you, you're not going to want to add in what you are thankful for until it's a little bit dry and it should not take too terribly long to dry so here we go i'm going to show you a technique on the inside that you can you could do the whole thing one like just paint it in one color but if you want to kind of have the edges darker and then the um the inside fade out i'm going to show you how to do that And I would love to, as you are painting this, just to be like, because a lot of times the painting part takes a little bit longer. You know, it, it, when you're watching me, I, you know, I might go fast, but I know you turn these videos off and it's going to take you a little bit longer. As you're painting, this is a great time just to be chatting about what are we thankful for? What can we say? Yay, God, thank you for blank. Um, and just use this time that it takes to paint to also talk and to think and to thank God. Now, what you see me doing right here, I add color on the edge, okay, and then we kind of paint it. All right, so you see how it just stops right there. To fade that, you're going to touch just a little bit of plain water, plain water, not color, and then kind of touch the edges and pull it to the middle until it just naturally fades. Okay, so that's what I was doing over here too. So you just touch that water um, <clears throat> and just let it kind of fade. All right, so we're going to outline. All right, and then we're going to add the water. And it's okay to go on top of all of this. Also, let me tell you this as well. When we are, like I've right now, I've really taught everything there is to teach other, other than just me painting in. So if you want to just watch, you do not have to be going at the same time, the same speed that I'm going. A lot of times when I'm teaching at the studio, I say, look, I'm gonna tell it to you, then I'm gonna show you, and then you do it. And oftentimes that's the best way to learn. Let me, you know, you listen to it, then you watch it, and then you do it. So if you feel like you are not, you know, at this pace I'm at, that's totally fine. I see people saying, you know, slow down. You are not meant to be doing it in the exact same time that I'm doing it. You want to listen to it, watch it, and then do it. That is really how it's gonna get into your brain. You can start it, but don't think that you, like you can start going with me, but don't think you have to be on the exact same speed I am. Just absorb it listen watch and then do all right <clears throat> so now i'm going to be kind of outline i'm just going to be doing every other um color every other little shape of color you could have every single one a different color i'm just picking two you can do it however you want to so here is blue and then i'll skip that one Can y'all hear the workout going on outside? Just curious. Can y'all hear my the, my family working out? Because <laughs> it's making me kind of laugh. Maybe y'all can hear it. Maybe y'all can. My brother is a strength and conditioning coach, and so you know he's here on break, and there's a fa there's a family um workout happening in the background that I'm obviously not a part of at the moment. Okay, so now that I have finished all of that, then I'm going to swap colors. Brittany says, yes, I hear Zach. <laughs> oh gosh, you, you just hear him. He me a All right. Well, y'all might just get an art class and a semi-workout class all in one today. <laughs> 
so funny. Yes, I am still at the beach. Okay, so now I am going to somebody. So what kind of paper? I am on watercolor paper. Let me find my pad. The watercolor paper. I am using this right here, which is the um, the Canson, the 140 pound right there. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep scrolling up to remind myself what colors it is. Okay, so now I'm going to go back in with the purple. Well, hmm, yeah, maybe the purple right around here. And again, you sure do not have to use the same colors that I'm using. Feel free just to do whatever. And after you kind of get the gist of this, like let's say you watch this one day, this is something that you could really do every day. You could have a gratitude painting every single day. And after you kind of know a format, you just create your own border and turn on some music, draw and paint, maybe talk about with your parents or if you're by yourself, if you're an adult doing this, just think about it and just think about what are you grateful for and then journal it down. And there is a, there's power in writing things down. Like you can absolutely talk about it and say it out loud and that both of those things are good. But when you write it down and keep it in front of you, and if you end up having five of these, you know, or in front of you, then it just it just helps realign your um your thoughts because sometimes if it's just thought in your head it's gone but if it's written on paper and you see it it just um it's just a reminder of how blessed you are even in the middle of scary times <clears throat> now we are also in the middle of creating some free downloads for you i have them ready but i couldn't quite hook everything up for you before this so i'm going to um i'm gonna put a link on this post as soon as i get it already and you'll see it and they are there's a couple of just coloring pages that helps kids just to focus on positive things you know like go make you know you are my sunshine or go make it a great day but then there are a few that are kind of like this they're black lines that they can color in and one just says you know highlights of the day so that at the end of the day and this is one thing that my family has tried to do we just go around the table and say okay what were your highlights of the day and sometimes they're silly and <laughs> you know uh, you never know what you're gonna get but um, everybody has to say a highlight of the day and that just helps us to get a little peek into uh, our kids personalities and but it also helps us to um, to practice the attitude the the um, just the habit of being grateful and for finding the good and sometimes they have to think about it for a little bit so anyway so there's one of the sheets that just says highlights of the day it has a fun border that you can color and you can just print out several of them and write down your highlights every day of this during this time of quarantine there's still um still things that you can find that are highlighted there is one of the downloaded sheets it's kind of a coloring sheet but it also says like three fun things we can do today and this was just um designed to there goes the boys running to go chase lizards um that that one was designed designed to make you just kind of get up in the morning and maybe just get creative and have something to look forward to you can put you know three fun things too you can put pizzazz art lessons on one okay you can put like our the boys right now my um nephew and son are as we speak i'm looking at them they're running and catching lizards they would have woke up this morning and put go catch lizards and then play in some water you know so if you can just every day kind of get up and just think of good old-fashioned fun stuff that you can do um write it down and at the end of the day see if you did it so anyway we've got some of those um we've got some of those downloads for you coming your way we will post the link right on this page as soon as we get it already okay <clears throat> And I'm really just picking colors as I go. Picking them and painting. Let's see. And then let's see. Maybe I'll use some of the orange right here. Can you use markers? Somebody said, yes, absolutely. You can totally do this with a Sharpie and markers. That's why I said no fancy supplies are needed. Yes, we're using this, but you could literally use Crayola markers. You could use crayons that you find in you know any little preschool room. You could use gel pen. You can use anything, anything, any, anything. 
Okay, so we've got our painting done. I'm going to very quickly come over here and see if there's any immediate questions that I can answer. Um, uh, Stacy says you got three packs or 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, Miranda, yes, you can hear him. I'm funny. <laughs> I think they've kind of quietened down now. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, all right, so I can see some. Let's see. Miranda said to color in. I bet crayons would be pretty too. Yes, I think crayons would be very pretty with this. Um, there's all kinds of different things that would look really good with this. So after you get it painted and after this part is dry, you can use whatever you want. You can use gel pens. You can use, oh, I forgot to paint this part in. Um, and you don't have to do this. Emma says, did you announce the winners? No, I did not announce the winners. I'm going to wait until tomorrow and we're going to use um, submissions from yesterday and today and just give away double the fun of the glitter because a lot of people didn't know that we were going live today. Okay, so on this, I am not trying just to paint on the inside of the um, lines. I am just kind of almost like highlighting it. Just kind of going over it. Just to make it stand out a little bit. You can try to pound the inside if you want to, but all right. So there's that. And then let's just think, I'm thinking, is this dry enough? Let's think. And what can we, um, what can we write down that we are thankful for? And you can do whatever you want to. I'm going to do that. You know, we had food to eat. Do y'all know that, um, that is something that we are thankful for a lot. But that's also something that we take for granted a lot in this country. And only until recently when you've been going to the stores and seeing stuff, you know, completely sold out that it makes you be like, wow, like I'm so grateful that we've got food to eat. I'm so grateful that, you know, the other day I just came in and I was like, because it was hot out here and I just came in and I'm like, oh, I'm so thankful for air conditioner. <laughs> like, I'm just so thankful that, um, you know, that we've got that. I'm so thankful for family and that right now we are surrounded with, um, with family and just quarantining ourselves together. You know, you may be in a place where you just have friends that are like family or coworkers that are like family, um, you know, that are just really there for you and gonna, you know, gonna go through all of this with you. You may have, I am also just thankful for um, just time to think, you know, this is a little bit wet, but, and this is, kids are probably not going to write this, but I'm, but for me, I am thankful that this whole change of pace has allowed just a little bit more of slowing down and having time to think. And then I'm really thankful for um, technology. Uh, I'll put social media. And that is connecting us in ways that was not possible, you know, years ago. This morning, I was able to join in with my church family via, uh, via social media. Uh, we had, um, my kids were able to connect with kids. We are able to do these art classes with y'all. So there's a lot of times where there's, you know, there's danger in social media, but this is, um, there's a lot also to be really thankful for. So um, I'm thankful that I can connect with all of you guys through this platform and that we can just get together and get creative every day. And so here this is, this is what this is. And, um, I hope that you do this exercise and that you just have fun with it. If you don't want, when you're posting your pictures, you can post it with your thankful list, which I would love for you to do because sometimes you, you're, what you're thankful for makes some other people say, oh, I really should be thankful for that too. And you help open other people's eyes to all the things they can be thankful for. But I also know that sometimes it can be personal. So if you don't want to post it after you've already written everything, just post them beforehand and, um, and it'll be fun just to see everybody's kind of gratitude paintings. And um, if you want more kind of things like this, little prompts to, uh, to get you thinking of what you can be grateful for and things like that. All right, y'all. See ya. See ya.